All right, welcome to Troy Designs. We're here today to introduce the SE3 helmet. Uh, this thing has come a long ways. When Troy first began painting helmets, he painted every, every brand you can imagine. And he took from all of those helmets things he liked, didn't like, and uh, put together a list of exactly what he wanted to make in a helmet and created his own. From a rider's perspective, uh, some of the things about this that are, that are great, obviously the comfort is number one. Uh, as a rider, this thing is super comfortable. Uh, they've got different ways you can pad this thing and make it fit any shape of head. Most comfortable helmet. It's not a time to cut corners. Uh, when, you're, when you're looking for a helmet, do the research, which we're going to try to help you with some of that right now, and uh, buy the helmet that, that protects you the best, and we believe it's the SE3. Uh, Jeff, why don't you talk a little bit about why we believe that and how we've achieved it. Thanks, Bing. Our research and development team and our design team uh, put a lot of time and effort into uh, making this helmet the safest that a rider can wear. Uh, so like as being pointed out, safety was our, our number one priority. And we used the best components and materials possible to achieve that. Starting with the shell, it's a mixture of fiberglass, Kevlar, carbon. And uh, we reinforced it in key areas such as the chin bar and the, the temple area here where a lot of the impacts occur. So it adds strength to the, the overall integrity of the shell. Also on the outer part of the shell, We've designed some key pieces here to aid in the airflow. So we've got the uh, top scoop here. It actually uh, acts as an air ram, uh, forces air into the top of the shell. The front mouthpiece here has a nice open uh, area here where it drives air into the, uh, the frontal uh, part of the shell too. And then it's got the uh, air intake system here, which uh, again acts as a ram and helps drive uh, air into the, uh, uh, the shell as well. Moving on to the uh, interior part, one of the key uh, features that we added to the helmet this year is a, a dual density EPS. Here's a sample here, and as you can see, it's a two-piece EPS, and what this allowed us to do is fine-tune each density to precisely um, the right softness or hardness to give the rider the best protection possible. In doing so, uh, this helmet does pass the Snell 2010 standard, which is the, uh, the highest standard available here in the U.S. EPS, internally you can see these red dual density shock pads. This is something that's unique to the Troy Lee helmets. We introduced this this year and what this does is aids in some of those light impact crashes where you might ring your bell. It kind of softens those blows a little bit as well as protects the integrity of the EPS. Somewhat. So essentially this helmet has three densities on the EPS, so that's a key feature there. Also on the uh, safety aspect of the helmet, we added these quick release cheek pads to the helmet this year. And what this does is when a rider is down, it allows the emergency personnel to safely remove the cheek pads, it allows the helmet to easily be removed from the injured rider without further damaging his neck. So that's another key, uh, key feature as far as safety goes there. And in any trauma, obviously, stabilizing the neck is the most important thing, so that's why they focused on that for that feature. Uh, something unique to this helmet and something that's long overdue in this sport. Definitely. Um, and also, as I mentioned earlier, the airflow is a key part of this helmet, and you'll notice here on the EPS, we designed some deep air channels that aids in the flow of air into the front, and it actually draws air out of the back of these exhaust vents, so it flows through the helmet and it keeps the rider's head cool. Uh, on those hot days and long motos. Also, we've added uh, titanium elements to the helmet on the visor screws here, the rings right there, and then also the D-rings are titanium. That actually saves in weight about 45% over steel, so every little gram helps. So those are the key features of the SE3 helmet. To give you some more technical information on this helmet, I've got Michael David here, who's our Director of Engineering. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, the fit of the helmet and what it is that we've done to achieve this exceptional fit. Uh, it basically it comes down to a number of different types of foam that we've used uh, to provide the, the necessary support, deep enough foam, and uh, a soft foam to contour well in the areas that people's heads are often different.
We have the chin bar itself. This is more of a protective item, but it has three different kinds of foam in it. It has the main polyurethane foam, which has a very good shock absorbing aspect to it. It's co-molded with the EPS, which is expanded polystyrene, which is a protective material. Uh, same thing that the, that the main EPS, the uh, energy attenuation material is. And so those are co-molded together uh, for durability and protection and then we've got these additional shock pads mounted in here with three different foams uh, actually two foams in there and then the third foam being the polyurethane and our snap um, situation and the contouring of this component to give that cheek pad a really good curve on the lining of the helmet itself we've got uh, five different foams that are utilized we have high density foams back here and then uh, around the side we have a medium density and a, and a little bit higher density and medium foam up here in the upper part that's supporting as well as an additional piece in here that uh, can be removed if, if for particular head shapes if desired. Additionally we have on the cheek pads we have uh, three different foams uh, densities of four pieces of foam that are stacked up to provide uh, a real good contouring of the cheek pad itself. So we have uh, spacing pieces and thicknessing pieces that give it the contour. Um, and additionally beyond that we have uh, what we call a custom fit kit which is a bunch of die cut parts that are specially shaped to fit in to our helmets. You can see here they're, they're die cut individual components with an adhesive backing on them that are made to fit in our helmets that you can change the shape or by adding a complete kit will actually reduce the size of the helmet about a half a size. So uh, with all of those components, um, which many other helmet companies do not have, uh, we can achieve a fit that far surpasses anything anybody else has. So that's it for the 2011 SE3 helmet. In our opinion, the safest, strongest, most comfortable helmet you can put your head into. We're here at Troy Lee Designs today to introduce the SE3 helmet. Uh, this thing's evolved a long way since uh, Troy first started making helmets. And originally when he was painting, uh, started his painting... Oh, that <laughs> Cut. Okay. <clears throat>